chain pulling Duncan slate cars couldn't hold the weight, it suddenly snapped. Duncan plummeted down the incline. Bow! He yelled. Glug, 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 he said. Bluggle my bloiler. Duncan felt foolish and very wet. When he approached the chocolate factory, his driver applied the brakes. But Percy's wheels just skidded on the oily rails. Oh no, hooted Percy. Yuck, he groaned. I've never been this dirty. He was covered from funnel to firebox in sticky, gooey chocolate. Diesel didn't know the shunters had set the brakes on the trucks. The troublesome trucks knew, but encouraged Diesel to push anyway. Push, push, push! Diesel pushed, and he pushed, and he pushed. But the trucks didn't move, so Diesel decided to pull the trucks instead. Heave ho, heave ho, you can pull but we won't go, sang the trucks. This made Diesel very cross. He pulled, and he pulled, and he pulled. Grease and oil, Diesel soaked as the trucks laughed and laughed. Out on the branch line, Percy was having trouble with the trucks. Faster we go, faster we go, pull them along, don't let them slow. Help! cried Percy. His driver applied the brakes. But it was too late. He went off the rails at Bulgy's Bridge. He saw Bash, Dash, and Ferdinand. Hooray! Following the river was the right decision. Thomas hooted and tooted. Hello! We said hello to you yesterday. But you didn't want to be with us. That's right. Thomas knew he had been unkind to the logging locals. I'm sorry. I was silly to think I could find a way off Misty Island without your help. Please, will you help? Will you tell me how I can huff home to Sodor? But the logging locos weren't interested in helping Thomas. We're busy loading logs. That's right. Thomas puffed after them. <laughs> <laughs>